Let me tell you a story. When I was a little kid, preschool, maybe grade one, I was with my family at a magic show. Now, at some point, I saw what the magician did. I saw the trick behind the magic, and I shouted, It's in his hand! Loud. And a hush fell over the crowd, sprinkled with a few chuckles and giggles. But all eyes were on me. That little kid, my family tried to hush me up, but... Nope, I just wouldn't stop. I saw what he did. So my family hung their heads in shame and dragged me away. And now, 50 some odd years later, it's happening again. I've seen the trick behind the magic and I won't shut up about it. And again, most of my family hangs their heads in shame. Some will, but most of them won't even talk to me. So why would I tell you this? Why would I say all this personal shit? Well, it's not just me. Families are disintegrating everywhere. It's been happening for years, but nothing like what's going on now. Friends walking away from lifelong friends. Couples splitting up. Entire families. People getting fired, quitting their jobs. These are the structures that humans have relied on since the very beginning. They are vital and they are disappearing. You know this, but did you ever ask yourself why? Just what exactly is going on here? Doesn't it almost seem like it's part of some evil plot to take over the world? Like in a bad movie? How would you do it? Take over the world, that is. Wouldn't you just break society down into tiny little bits? Keep them separated. Isolate. Control the narrative. Spread fear. Remove love. That's what I'd do if I had no conscience. But I do have a conscience. I don't have the money or the power to do it anyway. But they do. There is an us and a them. This post-Marxist, neo-fascist, pseudo-democratic, authoritarian regime just kind of snuck in the back door, cleverly disguised as liberals and democrats, as republicans and conservatives. But these liberals ain't liberal, and these conservatives sure ain't conservative. (sighs) No, they're fascists. Neo-fascists. Neo-fascists with a post-Marxist ideology that is absolutely suffocating. And they pretend it's a democracy. It's not a democracy. It's a post-Marxist, neo-fascist, pseudo-democracy. And they control almost every government in the world. Like a delicious carton of milk, our beautiful idea of democracy has been left in the fridge too long. And, well, you know what you get. They snuck in and took the joint over. Just like when a gang moves into a neighborhood. Best keep quiet. Don't want your house burning down. And they bring very interesting weapons to this fight. Weapons like postmodernism. Ever hear of that? It's a real thing. They study it in universities and stuff. Now, I never took a course or even read a book about it. At first, it just seemed so dumb. It wasn't worth paying attention to. At first, I didn't see how dangerous it is. But I do now. See, this is what I think the crux of it is. In postmodernism, there's an idea. The idea that there is no truth. No such thing as facts or reality. Only power. Now that just seemed childish to me. But, you know, as a tactic, it works. You can just say whatever it takes to win the argument. You can lie because there's no such thing as a lie. That's the post part of post-Marxist, neo-fascist, pseudo-democracy. And lies work. They're an excellent tactic. Think about it. They are lying. You know they are lying. They know you know they are lying. And they don't care. 
That's because they think they are winning. They have been gaining ground for years. They are confident. They care less and less what you think of them. They think they have enough of us to beat us. And they do have a lot of us. They've recruited a lot of us. And they've captured a lot of us. Say the wrong thing. You're canceled, fired, unfriended, captured. You know this is going on. You've been watching it for years. Ridiculous new policies and laws and charter stuff. And then, two years ago, the hammer drops. Suddenly, almost every government and every giant corporation on the planet are all working together, pushing the same agenda, laying out the same narrative. People being canceled left, right, and center. Doctors, scientists, leading experts, canceled, removed from society. Now, a single narrative. And all of this brought to you by a post-Marxist, neo-fascist, pseudo-democratic, authoritarian regime. One that snuck in through the back door everywhere around the whole world. But they haven't won yet. I think the Canadian Parliament will probably vote down the War Measures Act. Okay, the Emergency Measures Act. Old-timers like me, we remember it as the War Measures Act. It was only ever used once before, when I was a kid. And the Prime Minister? Well, that would be the current Prime Minister's father. Subspecies, eh? Ah, maybe Parliament passes it, but I doubt it. Some of these politicians aren't actually complete morons. Some of them can see the shift in momentum. It's not necessarily that they're good people or anything. They just don't want to get caught on the wrong side of this. And neither should you. One way or another, we're approaching some sort of end game or something. A climax, so to speak. And it seems to me like we'll either have a shot at a decent future... Or we won't. We'll either have some choice in how we live our lives, or we won't. We still have a choice now. How long is that going to last? 